Or I have this. And then right here, maybe we can have bottom here. So right on the right. So next to this one, update CV is for the updating of the CV. And now one like a CV um, review element, we place the bottom. Um, and then the user click. So when you click on this bottom, I listen for this click on the back end, mm, review my CV. And am I recording? Hope so, yeah. Okay, so review my CV, and this should trigger a, a um, something on your on the live wire component that is rendering right now, which should be live wire. We have two components. The candidate profile component is one of them. So let me open up right now. Candidate profile. Well, it's not the candidate profile form. It's just the candidate profile. Candidate profile show candidate profile maybe is this one or maybe is this one yeah i think this one is the one uh we have loads of components yeah it should be the one yeah it is okay so in here hmm, in here we have the bottom to review let me make the bottom look like the other one i'm using the ui behind the scenes and live wire and yeah live wire and tailwind i actually um i'm not sure if i like it that much or not but i'm using and i'll keep using it so this is the bottom i want to show onto the page using these classes from like wire i mean they're fine look like bootstrap classes uh but with a bit more functionalities uh, so this is going to be a, like bottom looking like the other one. So when you refresh the page, we should see the bottom somewhere. And then we click on it and we should, yeah, review my CV. And click on this one and trigger this action. Review user, well, your yeah, candidate. So candidate CV. Uh, we call this function here, which actually is a method because it's inside this candidate profile class where I can put other stuff. And uh, let me put up here another function that we can call, how did we call it? Um, review candidate CV. Right. So it's going to make some recommendations for you. I hope so. Uh, there's gonna be they're gonna be all helpful public function. Why is not public up here? I mean it's still public, but I like to be explicit on that. So we have a CV, we have the candidate object. So if we have the candidate up here, I can grab the candidate and take this path candidate let's see what's in there candidate and we should see the path of the cv find them candidate is with these all are these arrow candidate right so this is going to give me the entire candidate object where i should get the cv path Maybe that's the name. And let's see uh, this this one has my CV path in there. So when I click this one, I should see a path of a CV. Yes, I do. And then we should just preview the CV and extract its text and ask to an AI assistant uh, to review it. Like we could have, I should have some sort of class like as cv form as simulations this is traits should help me handle the cv we update cv we delete the old one we ask 
lay to summarize my so this is service class that we are using up here actually it's not service class it's just class so this class has summarized method and we could add to it a like review method why not so let me add to this file a review method so we just perform basic http requests from here for different features the submit answer the translations and we should definitely organize this class a bit better but it has a bunch of methods for me it's fine right now uh, i'm happy with it that's fine with courier simulation you see it generator generator for the company system a bunch of other stuff up here uh yeah you can read it i don't care um and up here let's save and where we should see uh get company summarize so up here we can have like the method we can call public topic function we call it like a view cv or just perform a review it's just a text that it should review but along with the text i should also pass on some so this is what it should view it should review some text uh which should be like cv text but could be any text so i can make this like quite generic as a class as method and then call it with wherever i want could just say also what task has to be performed uh what task to perform like you could just input some tags for instance review this tags or reviews this curriculum so we can inject these um in the user prompt maybe i don't know we will see so this method could just die and dump this text for now so we have a method we can call it uh from here we grab it and then as it form let me check what i was doing here so we start the cv we update the cv we delete the cv we get its text yeah i need this class we validate we got messages okay so in here i want to handle in this trait which behind the scenes uses lie the class and then use the spati pdf to text to, to transform your pdf into text so update candidate cv and then we could have here the method to actually review the cv here it's just a text and then we make it where it is lie so we pass on the text and here we perform the http request so we send the request to the assistant we do that in in a later time so in now review what well, review just the text so we shouldn't mention the candidate review the given text oh. yeah review the text that's the candidate profile method that i'm calling yeah sorry i see before and in the lie class just a review yeah it's called just a view we have review summarize match speech and whatever other um, actions i want to perform so this review the text and the text we use it from here all right so we can have in the scv form a function that we can call a review candidate cv and then we have the cv up here so we should not actually need anything from this class 
let me check how I've done this. Uh, this store, this get tags, and then we call the light summarization for the summarization. All right, and then we get the bio, your bio, and we use the bio for your profile. Um, right, okay. So we catch some exception. Right, we lock something. Right, so we can do something like that. And this lead the CV, this get the text from the path, and where it's coming from, this path. This path is coming from here, this store, we store the CV, and we save it into a path. Yeah, so I have the CV up here. I'm not sure what it has. I remember actually, guys, time dump this CV. Right. So let's time down this CV, not just CV. All right, so this is the entire object or whatever it contains. Uh, and we will look in here in a second. So who's gonna call this? Review candidate CV. And then behind the scenes, here we should call lie, uh, review, and then we pass the text, CV text. And this is, uh, this should give me a response uh, with the um, revised CV. Like that. Uh, of course, this method should do that. Uh, until it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't work. So from here, we got this time dump, right. So I can call this from the trait. Mm, review, just return some text for now. Right, and we should actually do the HTTP call in here. We'll do that later. Right, so it returns the text. I call this dying dump one. We call this one. So in here, we so we do that. But we actually could as use this trait as CP form, which is this one, and I can just do this candidate review and see this dying dump of the of the CV of the user. Perform the review. Well, keep it like that, and then we will change it. So we do just this, and then call the method review, review candidate CV, and then we should pass some text to it. Uh, no, I don't think so. And this should give me just this die and dump of the entire CV. Let's check this. We should remove a dying dump we placed in here because we call this and I don't want this as CV form. Show me this dying dump of the entire CV and in here we should just call this. Okay, that's fine. Click this and uh, we have null. All right, so it's null. Uh, it's line line twenty eight. Line 28. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So it means here the CV is null because it's the one we are using for uh, the conservation of the, for the update of, re, of the CV. But then we do like, yeah, we grab from the path. When we call this get text, we get the we need to pass the path to grab the text of the CV. Let me think about it. So the method it's calling this review candidate CV. This review candidate CV is in here, is in my, inside my candidate profile, which is fine. And this should return some text for me, which means the revised candidate CV. Uh, with some suggestions, uh, we could just do like this review candidate CV. 
arrived part of the candidate CV. We have in here. We could do just this arrow candidate candidate and then CV part. So we pass the part to this one. Actually, I have the text. I don't need the part. So I could just review candidate CV and pass the text. Should have text like that. Let me just check into my database. Can not remember this candidate what has? Uh, let me do that very quickly. All right, yes, we do have some text. It's just under CV. So I'm passing the entire text into this review candidate CV. The review candidate CV trade method, which is this one, should pass to our assistant to review the given text. So we just pass the text here. text as content and then we use the content of the CV to ask for a review right so content I'm quite sure it's written very well this content firebook oh, yeah it's written very well so it expects two arguments because the second one is what task to perform well, it's just the view, so it should just view the text provided. Um, yeah, it shouldn't ask me here what uh, other actions I want to perform. I think it's just a view the text, review this given text. Maybe it's just the CV, so it's fine. So we, this is gonna return the entire text for me. Uh, since I already done the transformation from the selection from the PDF file of the text, and I have it in the database uh, for the registered candidates, I can do, uh, I can grab the text from the database and use it in here. So in here, we should just perform an HTTP request using this given text. And let me just quickly, let me just quickly do what? Uh, this returns the text and this call it, and I have the right text and then we die and dump it. I want to keep the same flow I initially, um, created in this application so wherever it is even it's if it's not very uh, clean sometimes and it's not perfect it's fine just to make this function function works and then we will have to write some tests we will just write like white box test is uh, so i already know how the implementation works and when i write the test test i can just ask to ai to write the basic test to check the code works. So this is going to time the hump this when Lyre reviews the text and we should see the text arrived. And actually it's not arrived yet. So let's check what it does. So we should just see a bunch of text from my CV and, and let's try. So review my CV and it gives my CV text. So right now we have the text and can actually um, review it. Right. So let's ask to the AI assistant to review this text and provide suggestions. And we call the day. And in the next video, I think I will probably have to figure out how to take the text back into a PDF. Uh, I think this party library does that. I'm not sure it's PDF to text. I don't know if from text I can get the PDF again, but we can print it. It's just some text and we just render it nicely onto the page and then we can press the 
print button and then print it. Uh, or we can press like PDF button and have this downloaded locally as PDF file already um, structured as PDF with your CV in it. Right, so um, what we do? We do like an HTTP request. Now we token and then we should pass the token from my config file actually I have some text from here i can use yeah why not why not reuse this we should organize this bit better actually so we handle the error and case of success we do some stuff in here um well i could just grab this but not everything let's just perform a basic http request and pass well i actually need some payload and i actually need these and i'll handle the errors and in case of success we can decode these log into the file and then let me check what i should do next so we should just close this if statement and then should be good to go. And I should really encapsulate this into a function rather written, but for now it's fine. Right, so we have this. Uh, it's not going to give me a summary, but should do a different task. So model, we have the model, which taken from up here, the temperature, the messages, and they, I have a system message from here. Uh, we can just override it for now and say, please perform a um, CV review for this given CV text and the return the revised CV content as uh, and nothing else. Going to be just plain text, I believe. Uh, but we could, I don't know, use JSON uh, and ask to get back also some other details. I don't know. Let's figure it out in the upcoming videos. So for now, it's just asking for a plain text view of this CV. And we could just say also, please uh, add here to, well, I should be able to, to write this, follow, mm -hmm. sorry guys, follow the um, international standards. for a candidate's CV and um, the uh, common sense, maybe. I mean, in your CV, you should not have your image of your face. The image of your face doesn't have to be there. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to put in here, in your CV, your home address. Uh, Please don't do that. Uh, I think you should either do that. Uh, you should not um, write in your CV how much you earned in your previous job. That might sound silly to say, but there are some folks around uh, that are pushing for that. Even LinkedIn is trying to push candidates writing their uh, previous job earnings in there but i think this is going to be really a problem it's not just my opinion it's just common sense and you should apply it for your cv so let's just uh, stick with it for now just simple prompt for uh, open ai or any other uh, model you are using probably uh, in the future i want to try with uh, gemini from google and this is going to be like quite interesting to see how it 
gonna make a view uh, different from the OpenAI uh, GPT-40 model because behind the scene I'm using uh, GPT-40, so over sense for Omni, which is the new release model from OpenAI. Uh, so let's try this. Uh, so the user gives me the text. So this is the text given from the user and the there is a system prompt, so where we say, well, actually, I don't have to say that. I could just say, uh, you are LA, the jobby bot, jobby bot, bot AI um, assistant, um, you, your main task, now is to perform a CV review for the given tax. Uh, well, actually, you main task now is to perform the main task is to perform a CV a candidate CV candidate CV. Actually, let me just escape this character. Want to use it? Uh, candidate. TV. So you, your main task is to perform a candidate CV review and return the right CV content, content, and nothing else. Full stop. Please follow the international standards for candidate CV writing. Uh, then we, we could say use common sense and uh, that's it for now. Right. So the user uh, message contains just a given text from the candidate CV. We should actually, well, I actually moderate your CV uh, in a different function. So even if you add in your CV uh, like bullshit or swear words or um, code, uh, it just it, it just gets moderated from uh, my eye and I make sure everything is safe before pushing it into my database. So we have a system message and then we have this. Then we grab the open key, we um, use the chat endpoint, we pass the payload like that. We can double check the payload if we want. This is here, but I mean, I don't need it for now. Uh, then if there is a response, we log in, uh, and it's an error, we log the error and then we exit. And if it's successful, I mean, if I'm done here, it's gonna be successful anyway. So I could just even remove this, but I want to keep it just for better readability. In my opinion, it's fine. Uh, then I can say summary. This is the rice CV. And we can grab the body and decode it. Well, I actually want to check what it's in there, but I know uh, that we can grab the entire content of these uh, AI response message like that. Uh, and then we log that summary. Well, I don't, I don't actually need it. Need to log that. Uh, could just log some text. Could do like the mm, like C candidate CV review revises successfully fully right and if we have that this function you just return the text so instead of doing that up here I don't need to return this text I could just return the rise CV like that And then um, we close the line. Uh, the rise text is in here, but if 
few are not coming near while we exit. So we reach this point only if we have no errors. So we actually could do that. Hmm. Could just remove this because if there is no error, there is a success. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit. I'm not gonna do that on the summarize method because I'm just working on this feature right now. And actually I should have done a different branch, but I'll do that now before making any commit. All right, so let's see what's happening. We got the body, we got the body right that, like that. We decode the body because it's gonna be a JSON object. Uh, we decode the object, turn it in, in array, and then we grab whatever we need. We log the success message, and then we return the right text. So the right text should be in here. Uh, so when we call a CV, Review candidate CV. I actually could skip this, but I'll do that. Well, we should use a try catch, uh, but let me let me just return this, and then let me leave a note. And do the error, please, uh, before. Uh, doing the other actions. We will figure out where to do that, where it's gonna be the best place where to do this. But for now, this trait could just return me some text and see what the view looks like. And um, we just return this. So of course, this view, this method could trigger an error. Um, where it is? Yeah, could trigger an error, and we should handle the error. But I've done that. I mean, just triggering this, and I exit. I'm going to exit. Um, let's go over now. Uh, so we return this, and then candidate profile. We review the candidate CV. Um, calling the trait like that. The trait returns this and we should have it. I could just do the same in here without using the trait, but I'm uh, organizing all the code inside this trait so in the future I can improve the code base and clean everything and all the shit I left around. Right, so because there is a lot of shit I'm leaving here and there, so a lot of technical depth I'm leaving, but I'll do a big review sometime in the next future. Uh, Right, so this review candidate, they return mixed. Well, actually, you don't return mixed. Uh, so if you return the text, let me just add a quick cut block. Uh, review a candidate CV and return. Um, Returns a string which is a candidate CV revised. Okay. Uh, why it's void? Because where it is it? It's a void. Why is not returning anything? Yeah, I return this, and maybe the notation is wrong. I can't remember it. It's return or returns. PHP. After ages, I still forget the same fucking shit. So what is the return? I could just use the return in a different way. But now I want to use it like that. Uh, let's see the search. Return descriptor. Property errors name methods. What the fuck, Fabio? Hmm. 
is the denotation. It's not the descriptor. Where is it? Uh, set the return type. Uh, this sets the return type. I don't need that. Huh. Well, I think I'll do that. I think it's return. And then it returns the string with the candidate CV. And it returns. Well, it doesn't return void. It returns a string. And should say that. As CV form is calling the candidate. Yeah, fuck myself. This one. Yeah, it does a thing. Sorry, guys, I'm looking at the wrong method. I was looking at this one and thinking, why? What the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah, the returns is in here. It's this one. It returns a string and it's the candidate CV revised and the returns a string. It's fine. I still have to figure out if this is the notation is like uh, returns or return, but whatever. It's fine now. Let's check this. If I remove these, well, I don't have the text then. Right, it's fine. So we return the text and we should see the rise text in here. Uh, and then we save that somewhere. Like, um, revise CV. Then I think I'll save this into the candidate profile so I can print it somewhere as a model. Maybe so the user can have quick understanding of how it should view its CV. And that's gonna be it for now. So let's die and dump the revised CV. What? And see what happens when we do that. So let me refresh the page. So this button here. I'm not going to deploy that today, but click here. We should have a loading icon and all the shit to show to the user that this is actually working somehow, but I'm not doing that. Uh, when we are ready, we should be ready. Yeah, it is TCV revised and keeps some of the information and it gave me TCV very, very short compared with the other one yes okay so we have the rise cb and then we can save it in here let's do like public oop, public uh revise cb and we start that there is nothing here i mean it's null and then we save this straight to that. Then what? We have the CV just here. So if there is no CV to revise, this can be null, otherwise gonna have the CV. And hmm. Where should we put this? Um, well, for now, let me just add something here. Revise CV. Well, actually, we could figure this as default. When you upload your CV, I upload the CV exactly as it is, but then I'll show you also a version of that revised um then we can prove the system message to actually receive a better uh cv and we could also paginate it i mean have that look nice and print it right so the raw cv could be shown inside the model that we have here and it's gonna appear only when there is something in the cv so let me add another bot like we do the bottom and say c revise 
CV and when you click on it let's do like a um, x, x data up here so I can actually open and close these using alpine yeah so we do show and then it's false unless maybe we have something to show but by default i will keep it hidden and then we do like div for now just div and what if you click on this x on click i change the show value show it's equal to the opposite of show so we negate show using the exclamation mark then here by cv you click on it and we should open this and to open this div we should show it so we use the x axif axif and then we put this template around it format and then of course we should have acv otherwise there is no point showing this but we will do it so in here we could just print the variable uh, that is called uh, revise cv and format this otherwise we should nothing it's empty it's just null um and we should not show this button here and this uh maybe we could just so do like if there is this revise cd we do that and if or i could just use alpine again why not uh whatever so we just won't make this work very quickly and then we will think about it quite better and in depth so if we see this it means there is a cv that has been revised and we can look at it otherwise there is nothing and we should not see this right i think so so let me double check this can be triggered uh so this button should look like the other one and maybe different but we will figure it out so i could just use uh, like uh, flex and uh, content or justify i can remember the class for tailwind uh, let's check if someone else me justifies between yeah all right let's see hopefully review my cv there is no review in this current there is no review in this current um component so i click here um i can't see anything because yeah we got this yeah, it's twice but right so ccv now we should be able to open and close it i see it twice if revise CV, it's different from null. Why is showing it? Why is this bloody fucking CV?
uh, revise CV. And am I using that variable somewhere else? Maybe there is something that I forgot. I don't think so. But it's gonna work. It's gonna work for sure. Right, okay. Yeah, it's showing this twice. Let me inspect the page. Yeah, because I see this twice, two Ds, one after the other. Why is that? Uh, so these are ICD, CV is in here. Uh, why is that showing twice? This one, this my CV, this is the updated version. What the fuck? Uh, this cannot be because it's on the on the eve. If it's true, why is true? Why the fuck, Fabio? If show. So if show, it's this one. So if show, we should see the right CV, otherwise we should not. And we should be able to trigger open and closing, open and closing. But these data are just temporary data because we are not saving them anywhere in the database. So we're just flashing onto the page for a little while. And yeah, we can see this button appearing. And I can click this and I can close this. Yep, okay. The only thing that we have left to do for this task is to, well, actually we have some of uh, work to do. We should first make these better uh, and not break whole things around, but maybe show this as a model. We could just do that very quickly. I should have like a model component somewhere can't remember either how to use it. <laughs> and it's fucking loads of components I've made and I have to organize them quite better, but here I have a model component. I've not done that. I think this is the model component that comes with the Laravel application and I can just use it as it is. Uh, if I remember how to use it, we should give, we should use a button, I think. Yeah, we have a button like that and if we use like where is it the model used in the Laravel application as the first place well I could check this so it wants a name as a prop and then the show variable is used to open and close it or I could just build my model very quickly hmm. Well, actually, let's do that. Um, I don't remember having a model component of my own. I could just use these. Uh, but why not keep these fixed and have that appear in the middle of the page? And that's it for now, or just make the model work, why not? Uh, I remember having many models in this project, and I have one made by myself, I think. Let me check that. Where is it? Uh, what what models do we have? Yeah, this is no model. Nope. Neither this, neither this. I don't remember having models somewhere actually. Well, okay. Let me just uh, fix the one the couple of things I was thinking before doing this. All right. So um, we have the bottom 
and that open apps and I can do like class kernel and say fix um, raise the top class top middle like halfway yeah top 50 percent is not actually well uh, 50 percent of the top given the middle of the block is just the top of the block that position at 50 percent then we should have like bg uh we use these we use these for the background so for the light team we use bg white and for the dark team we use the bg gray 800 and this is fixed so we have some padding to add before and just for now we have that uh but i want the view like the view to be different like i mean more descriptive maybe i ask just to return the device cv content not in gas we could just remove this and see what happens when it reviews the reviews the cv could probably give me some recommendation and i closed for the day because i still have to go lunch right okay let me refresh the page because there is no closing icon right now and we should have that and make that an actual um we should make that an actual model so let me check if i ever used this model somewhere should be like x model x language picker x model name yeah the language picker uses a model and then also the delete user let me check this one how it's made so we have this x primary button which dispatches an event open model I think we should keep this as it is and then the open apps and we have this stuff let me grab this quickly and then we will make a component in a future video right so close this and then the candidate here let's see where to put this in here I think and if there is a model so this should be my button and the button appears only if there is content and the button is gonna be like that and it's not gonna be rounded circle there is an next data that I don't actually think I need, but I'll leave it because I'm not sure if I need or if it's uh, well, actually, it's needed by the model because there is an X on here, so we need the X data. But I have an X data up here, so I could just remove this and then we click the button and say open the model like show device. AB then then what opening uh, appearing and closing is done by the model so I only need this one and just get rid of this shit and I actually don't need that X data to be full I just can use it as empty as it is and then open language open review it's 
just gonna be like that. Okay, BU and also like that. This is gonna open my element. We can remove these and also this elect and have my text and it should open it. Press it. So review my CV. Oh, sorry. Review my CV. And then we should see the button and then the model could be triggered. Or an error somewhere. Well, actually, we have two buttons, but I think this is the one I need. Yeah. Then close aside and the model close. This is not going to work anymore. And we can get rid of it. And it's a primary button, which is not dark, which is not primary. It doesn't need all that. And we can keep this. And this is used to review, and this is used to show the model. I could use this X button up here as well. Right, okay. Let's keep this a bit of spacings. CV review for now, epsilon y4. I'm leaving these classes here because I'm planning to remove some of these tailwind masks I'm making and simplify my UI. But for now, review my CV. Loading icon you should actually appear and let's see how show by cv review cv we could show like some text that appears and disappears when we are actually loading so this should be like spanning here appearing only if it's not loading or viewing actually so we could do like wire loading what this method review candidate i actually need to double check the documentation because i'm not sure um and then we should add like i mean i think this can just be left as empty then a span with another wire loading and we do like attribute class um, I actually don't remember um, let's ask to my assistant very very quickly so we are using a lot of a life wire and see what gives me. So let me just very quickly do that behind the scenes. I use live wire three. Uh, I remember that I could just do like attribute class and then like hidden and this should trigger the class to do like reviewing CV and uh, Let's see in the meantime also the documentation live why Laravel to for the loading icon which I have made hundreds of times while loading how on earth should I use you? So we have a button submit which is inside a form, I don't have a form but should work anyway 
and um, I have a code snipper provided from my I assistant and that should just do the trick so let's double check this code so there is a wire click a review candidate CV and then on that bottom there is a wire loading attribute disabled yeah to disable this button so you cannot keep clicking on it and submit many 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 more requests yeah that's true i remember that now that i see it and then wire loading and remove so i want this bit to be removed yeah that's true and this class to be denon why denon i think there is no denon class there is live just eaten in tailwind but if you trigger the denon you should be able to see this one i think loading class hidden hmm. let me check the explanation so the wire uh, loading attribute disabled is used to disable the button while the action is processing this prevent multiple submissions that fine then we have the wire loading dot remove which applies uh, which is applied to review my CV span, which is this one, and which will remove this span from the DOM when the action is loading. So this is going to be taken off. And then this wire loading class, the non, which applied earlier, applies the loading span, which is which will add the denon class assuming that the, you're, you're using bootstrap but i'm not and i want to hide this span when the action is not loading yeah that's fine so we hidden this only when it's not loading of course we should hide that well let's check if it works <laughs> it doesn't work actually as uh, gpt suggested because i can see the loading that's here so we should actually have the hidden class removed from here and make it visible otherwise let me add class and we say hidden by the pool and if it's loading we remove the class class remove maybe there is class remove I'm just guessing from what I remember, having written the documentation probably a dozen of times by now. The loading is fine and the button is disabled. Cool. Well, instead of loading, you should say, I'm reviewing your amazing CV. And when it's done, we should see the bot. And sure, revise CV. We have the model, I can close the model, and that's fine. I think it's showing me that as markdown text, let's use Laravel to print that better. Mm, let's add an icon of a bot. Robot. Huh. Review in progress. I actually have bootstrap I can use as the icons if I don't remember it's not gonna work uh, bi bi robot oh uh, yeah let's see um, if appears review in progress and then what I was talking earlier i was to use the str markdown helper to print the actual markdown onto the page and that should present this better hopefully so review my code uh, not my code review my cv reviewing yeah we have the icons here so we see that review in progress and then show the cv um yeah it spits out text 
and the HTML. So we should just do that. Now remember if it's one exclamation mark or if it's twice, maybe it's just one of these. Well, I don't remember. Let's try that. So review my CV. Every time you click on these, you make a request to the GPT endpoint. So we spend money. <laughs> I might have to limit the times you can review this. Maybe one or two times. Otherwise, I should ask you to input to your API key, probably. Because for now, guys, just remember that Jobbybot AI is a project that I'm running and that I'm funding uh, my own, so it's self-funded. So all the simulation you do is on me. Uh, and I like that, it's fine, because it's my way to give him back to the community. And we are supported by uh, OpenAI, but by the end of the month, we will uh, lose the credit because it's expired. Um, so I'll have to figure out a way to um, work around it. But in the meantime, don't worry, just keep using, make uh, your simulation work. Well, yeah, okay, we have some CV format. Uh, I should remove this because we don't need it. So it's just one. Or just one exclamation mark. I think it's one exclamation mark. In fact, hmm, whatever. Let's make another call. It's all paid by OpenAI and Microsoft, which is funding these. Thanks, guys, very much. And we have that. Uh, I hope this review it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's gonna be okay. And let's add some padding instead of just py. Let's just do ph and I'll call the day. Seriously, and I need to go eat something, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. I'll upload this straight away, and you can see what I'm doing. I promise you all I were I was about to do that and I'm doing that right okay CV review for Fabio Pacifici and uh, we have the general feedback um, you can read these if you want don't care and I'll see you in the next video take care in the meantime make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like leave a comment wherever you like it or not the video it's still something useful for me because if you don't like the video, I'm not doing the game. Uh, otherwise, I do many more of this if you enjoy. See you in the next one, guys. Cheers and peace.